I'm Draco Self-Important, and I think you should listen to me. And I also think you should like and subscribe. Um, strap in, folks. This is going to be a rough one. You might want to sit it out. Um, there's going to apparently, at really high demand, um, and by that I mean this person has commented six fucking times asking me to answer their question about incest. So we're going to talk about it, um, and I'm going to go into a ridiculous amount of detail. Um, you know, nothing graphic, I'm not, you know, but like, if we're going to talk about it, we're going to talk about all of the layers of the things, and then you can hear my conclusion at the end, friend, because I don't think it's what you think it is. I don't think you accomplished the goal you were going for. Uh, yeah. So... <clears throat> in the last video, um, I, Pomni740, um, or Pomni, I can't, hi, undiagnosed dyslexic, I don't, whatever, I read in shapes, I don't know what to tell you, um, yeah, was, you know, uh, pointed me to some Bible verses that seem pretty clearly to me that, like, God's a vindictive asshole who makes people gay as punishment, um, but also instructs you not to judge people because it's up to God to judge. Because, you see, let's, let's just, for a moment, let's just be charitable with the scripture, all right? Um, let me just for a moment, before I start going into this dude's comments specifically, let me be charitable about my, um, like, view of this particular bit of Christianity. Um, you know, they always talk about, like, God never gives you more than you can handle or whatever, and, like, God gives you these burdens to, like, test your faith, or, like, it's, you know, there's all these, right, um, and you know, then you give me shit that says specifically that God made people gay because they weren't, like, because he's a jealous God, and so fuck you. Um, but, you know, I think that perhaps the whole Corinthians, uh, you shouldn't judge of it all, um, probably because the intention is that your actions are weighed based on the obstacles as well as your behavior, one would assume, right? Um, if... If God is a fair God, right, uh, in any sense of the word, then the obstacles that you're presented with, especially those that you were presented with directly by him, because it is biblical that God puts homosexual lust into people's hearts. You gave me that. Um, wasn't one I was familiar with before. Thank you so much for making me understand my queer Christian friends better. Um yeah, so, you know, uh, yeah, you didn't, again, um, address anything to do with the adultery or any of the rest of it. You, um, leaned so hard on the incest thing because you were like, hey, what about incest? What arguments against incest can't also be applied to homosexuality? And I was like, um, mostly that it's perpetrated against children and the power dynamics. And you, know, um, and you didn't like that. And your response to that was, yeah, well, what about consenting adult incest? So what about it? Let's chat. Yeah, that's what this conversation is. Strap in or sh get the fuck out because it's not going to get any better. Uh <laughs> Preface, before we get into this, I am an only child. I do not have step-siblings. I do not have half-siblings. I do not have full siblings. The man that I refer to as my brother was a friend that I met as an adult that we developed a very close relationship. And I said, I don't have any siblings. Can I, will you be my brother? And so, and so, so. I am coming at this from a purely fucking hypothetical perspective because I, like, I, I, I've got nothing. No, no. 
Like, my father remarried but had already had a vasectomy, and um, my mother uh, was probably upset that she had me. So certainly wasn't going to have any more kids or get together with anyone with kids. No, mm -mm, no, none of it. None of it. And it, it, so, um, you know. However, let's talk about the idea of consent. Let's talk about relationship dynamics. Let's talk about all of the things that go into this before I get down to actually like the answer to the question, right? So let's talk about adults. If we are talking about a parent-child situation, I generally do not enjoy a gigantic age gap among anyone, right? So if we're talking an 18-year-old dating someone old enough to be their parent, regardless at this point, if it is, right, um, that still, there's a power imbalance there, there's a vulnerability there, there's an underdeveloped brain there, right? So, like, I still find that to be distasteful. It's not illegal, and I'm not out yelling at people for doing it. Um, when you're 18, you're allowed to bang whoever you'd like. And in the state in which I live, there are incest laws on the books, but they're all about children because basically it's extra punishment for the, your job specifically was to keep them safe from shit like this. And you're the one who did it. So you get charged with the crime of the, you know, the, the, abuse itself and also the incest on top of that because they're like bro it was your job to prevent this and then you fucking did it what the fuck is wrong with you right so however there are not laws on the books where i live that prevent adults who are related in any degree from banging i don't think you can get married and you know the if you want to say that it's eugenics, because this dude said in one of these fucking comments that it was eugenics to um, suggest that, like, siblings shouldn't or, you know, parent-child shouldn't um, reproduce because of the possibility of genetic disorder. And, I mean, here's the thing, man. Um, this is not a, 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 like, prescription thing for me like i'm i also think it's not a good idea when people feel a need to specifically mate with people within their own um nationality religion like if you meet someone that is your same race religion creed whatever have at it yeah but like in the communities that are very insular, where there is an insistence because of religion or tradition or whatever, that you have to marry within those communities. Hello, look at any royal family. Do these people strike you as happy? They all seem like the most miserable bunch of fucking weirdos I've ever seen in my fucking life. And I'm a fucking weirdo. And at times, pretty fucking miserable. So, like... <clears throat> And I would bet that a lot of my problems have to do with my genetics. And I don't even think that I got like, dude, who knows? Um, but like, let's just, let's just for a moment, right? All right. We're talking about consenting adults here. We're, we're, you know, the, the person who commented on this shit before said something about um, like twin girls in college, right? Everything that I have read in regard to, like, sibling incest, right? Because that's when you're going to, because, you know, that's the point that you can potentially be like, well, the power dynamic is not, you know, the parent-child power dynamic. Um, one could argue that depending on uh, that relationship, 
there may never be able to be a bridge of consent there. Yet, like the people who will let their parents control every aspect of their lives up until the point that like they're dead, right? Regardless of whether it's good for them, they agree with it, whatever, they just do it because mommy or daddy says so. The same way that religious people do shit just because church daddy says so, right? Like the honor thy mother and father, right? So like if you're in a situation where you feel like you have no choice but to honor what your parents wish of you which is like the honor thy mother and father well like that's the basis of christianity right like then how do you say no to that ever so i would argue that there's not actually a way to consent there because of that dynamic right um you know uh i don't If we want to talk about the eugenics of it all, right, um, there are several documentaries that you can find about, I believe it's the, uh, it's like a really specific sect of um, Pakistani Muslim um, families in the UK that because they believe that you have to like marry within um, not just the religion, but within the bloodline, they routinely encourage, despite it being illegal, marriages and procreation among first cousins and the disabilities among those children. Like, they're just increasing generation over generation. The problem is just getting worse because that, like, it's, it's a public health issue. It's not eugenics to educate people that like, hey, man, you might love that guy, but you probably shouldn't have his kid because it's really not going to be good for the kid or that kid's kids or that kid. If that kid can even have kids really like you just right. I don't think that people should inbreed animals, right? Like the fucking I um, the bearded dragon that I had. I got knowing nothing because I was young and stupid and bought it from a place that was also like completely, they had no idea what the fuck they were talking about. Um, he, his mother was his sister, the same father for both, um, because the, he, they were breeding him for color. He was so ridiculously, like he couldn't catch crickets. He was too dumb. Like granted, he lived to be like 20 years old or some shit, right? Like, but <laughs> he wasn't happy. He spent so much of his life just trying to like climb out of the cage right and then you'd get him out and he'd be happy for like a minute and then he'd start trying to run away it, it just it just it's not something that i think is good for the people resulting from it i'm not trying to suggest that like we should eliminate disability or that you should have to be screened before but i think that knowing full well that if you fold genetics in on itself over and over and over again that that leads to problems down the line mentally and physically that that's an irresponsible thing to do to the child you're creating and that i think is a problem homos having children presumably right get to be a little more selective about the genetic material that they're involving in this, right? Because they can't just use their own. So you can ensure some fucking diversity or fucking, you know, hey, there are things about me that I like, I'd like traits, like, you know, there are situations where people will use fucking family, right? Like use your partner's fucking sister for an egg in a womb and your fucking sperm. And so like then the baby's still related to you, but it's not your, you know, like there's all, so like, I think that generally discouraging um, people who are genetically related to any level from reproducing is good for like I, I i i mean if if you want to think of that as eugenics then i'm not here to say that people should not like reproduce like or that people with disabilities or di like whatever like 
you know, you, you do you King. Like, I, it, it's not my fucking, if I don't got to take care of your fucking kid, what the fuck do I care? You know? But like, is it something that I think that we as a society should be like, yes, let's encourage this group of people that we know uh, is, you know, there are all kinds of psychological impacts here and also genetic impacts. Um, you know, let's, let's go ahead and right. Okay. So let's take the parent child out of it for a moment. Let's hit the siblings, right? If you've got even a one or two year age difference, right? Let alone any kind of an actual age gap, there's a power dynamic there, right? Even if it's a similar age, you're looking at the same sort of shit as like why you don't want therapists to bang their clients, teachers, even, you know, college teachers to bang their students, like the doctors, right? There's a vulnerability there because of the power dynamic. If you're raised with someone, right, that is like entrusted with the being in charge, you're looking up to them, da, 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 like, there's a psychological impact there. There's a potential for coercion. There's, you know, but like, you know, I think a lot of those things about a lot of other relationships as well, but like, what the fuck am I supposed to do about it? I mean, honestly, like, I'm not, you know, you're asking my opinion, and so I'm answering my opinion, but I am not out here on like, I don't know, fucking pro incest forums fucking which you're asking this over and over and over again sounds like you're looking for reassurance that incest is okay like that's what this really feels like because i really don't think that you genuinely expected me to read this and be like well gosh i never thought about it that way guess i'm straight now like uh, <laughs> so I, it just, the insistence, the fact that you commented like four different fucking times, the fact that when I said, I like, I'll record it when I fucking get there, you were like, you don't have to record a video. And I was like, you don't get to dictate my responses, friend. And you're like, you don't have to record a video. You're like, dick in hand need to have this answer right the fuck now. Dude, I get it that like the step family genre of porn is like the most searched. People love a taboo. It's hot. I understand, but sometimes you have to think beyond coming. Crazy, I know. And when we're talking about things like incest, the idea of you... Be... Here's the other thing, dude. Like, even in the, like, stepfamily shit, right? My first husband's fucking stepsister tried so hard to fuck him and his brothers, and they were all like, holy shit, because it just, like, and it, it just... I have never known anyone to have any experiences having anything even remotely to do with this that have been positive, right? So this is what's coloring my worldview... And I, unfortunately, know a lot of people who have had a variety of, like, no one has come out of this that I have known, even, like, I've lived a weird life. There was a point in my life where I was regularly talking to someone, and I mean, literally, like, on the phone talking, not like, you know, um, that I was, like, trying to provide support, emotional support to, trying to, but that bro was banging his cousin. Like, and it, the whole family was fucked up about it. The kids felt weird about it. They were lying. It was like, there was just like the whole thing, just none of it was good for anyone. Right. Like, but they, you know, they weren't having babies, but also like they didn't treat each other well. They didn't claim each other in public. They lied to the children. There were children around, like, you know, you want to get into all the fucking, and then there were kids about it. Like it, none so then you're teaching the kids that the, these are appropriate dating partners. And so then they said, like, mm -mm. I think that, like, my social mores, right, shouldn't necessarily affect the law. 
And just because I think that something is wrong doesn't necessarily mean that it should be illegal when we're talking about things that adults do. And like, that's uncomfortable for me. I don't like that. It makes me feel icky, right? I don't, ew. But like, if I really think about it, identical twins are basically the same person. You're born at the same time, so there's no age gap, so there's no power dynamic. You probably get fucking confused. Is that just extreme masturbation? Really, genuinely. I've thought about it, right? As a person with no siblings, had I been an identical twin with this fucking brain, I almost certainly would have banged myself. Would it have been the right thing to do? No, probably not. It wouldn't have resulted in children, so I think we'd have been okay there. And, you know, like, I think there was a robot chicken uh, episode about, like, banging a clone and how that's not gay. It's just masturbation, like, because it's just you. And is, you know, what is an identical... You started from the same fucking fertilized egg if you're an identical twin. You're basically the same person. Bang it out. So I think really what you have convinced me is that my relationship with uh, my thoughts about incest are way more complicated than they seem on the surface because like a lot of it really is just none of my fucking business. Um, and even the shit that like concerns me from a moral perspective, if it were happening in any other fucking situation, wouldn't be any of my fucking business either. And hey, God says I shouldn't be judging these fucking people anyway. So. I think the conclusion that I've come to is it's still extra wrong when incest happens and there are children involved because it's an extra level of abuse on top of the sexual abuse. The fact that you are betraying the fact that you're supposed to be the protector and being the perpetrator, like the, it's, it's an extra level of disgusting, right? Because you're predating on a child extra, extra bad as the person who's responsible for protecting them, right? Um, again, I, I think, like, if you've ever watched any of these fucking, like, smothered shows or, like, the weird, like, uh, Mama's Boy shows and, like, the weird emotional incestuous relationships that people have with their parents and, like, the amount of control that they let them have and, like, they just... It feels very unbalanced and it feels very much in a lot of these situations like these people don't feel like they have a choice. And th I think that that's wrong. I think that people should be consenting and open and like, I, you know, I don't want to be in a relationship with someone where either of us feels like we are trapped there, right? And that is what I wish for others is that you have the freedom to engage in whatever relationship you're engaging in as a consenting adult, right? Um, that's why I'm always saying if everyone's on the same page, everyone's an adult, everyone's consenting, right? Like, I probably have a different definition of adult because for me, adult, like, you've got to be at least, like, 25, like, maybe 24 if you're really highly emotionally intelligent 24, but, like, really, like, minimally. And I think for most people, especially men, pushing 30 is way closer to when your whole fucking brain goes, uh -huh. Ding. all right i'm a person now ready go and even then you you're like okay now my brain works now what do i fucking do with it and then you have to start processing information at that point with the so i have lots of judgments about things like age gaps in uh, adult relationships but that doesn't mean that i think that there should be laws against uh like you know sugar daddy situations you know like I'm uh, gonna tell a story about a, a fucking situation that I had with a dude who was old enough to be my fucking dad that went very well. Like, it's, you know, like these... The... Adults should get to adult. I think that minimally we should be educating people about genetics so that they know the kind of risk that they're putting potential children at if I guess we're going to encourage this. I assume that's what you want. Because the 47 comments going, tell me anything, tell me anything, just seems really a lot like you want me to be like, yes, that's an okay thing to do so that you can go off and do it. Like, do I think people think that it's like 
you know, obviously the, the, the fucking step family porn thing, like if it were morally acceptable for it to just be like incest, I'm pretty sure that would be just as popular. It's the taboo. It's the people like to think about things that are like, Ooh, but that doesn't mean they want to actually do them or that actually doing them would be the right thing to do. Sometimes things should just be a fantasy. Sometimes role-playing is fun. That's how all these fucking porns came to be. Like, these are not porns of actual step-families. It's just people playing pretend. So, like, you know, like... People's sexuality is weird. Kinks are weird. Taboos are weird. It's all fucking... And, like, you know... I, here's the thing, too. I was watching the other day uh, fucking this shit about... Um, the people who come back together later in life who like it was a parent and child but they didn't raise the child for whatever circumstance but they meet as adults and then like fall in love as adults and then like this one was a fucking australian couple who did have a kid and i'm like ah uh the child was seemingly healthy so yay for that uh but they were both like no we're adults it's fine and i'm like but they're, like, being prosecuted and shit. Like, they're, like, claiming that they're not having sex. They're l allowed to live together, but they have to agree not to have sex again. And I think, really, what they have to do is just agree not to have another fucking baby, or they're gonna go to jail. Like, they're like, you can fuck, but do it on the down low and don't fucking get knocked up about it, you dumbasses. Like, that is, I think, what's actually happening, but the public face of it is to say that the whole thing is wrong. And really, they're just like, can you please not intentionally increase the chance of weird, recessive things that no one in either, you know, no one in your family has had in a bajillion generations or maybe has never actually had, just carries a gene for, that you have now doubled that gene up on purpose like you know like there's just so many weird recessive things that you're just oh my god <laughs> you know it's one thing if like you have a situation because i've also heard of situations where like siblings meet later in life and don't realize it um i watched some fucking shit oh god some fucking new england town where a lady like at 14 had a baby in a cotton mill or some shit and gave that baby up for adoption and then later ended up marrying someone who was exactly that ended up marrying her son it was some real oedipus shit right like um and they got shunned and did it but like they didn't know apparently that 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 they were related like so like i've got some sympathy for that but, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do about it. Like, why do I have to justify this shit? <laughs> like, um, I don't like it. I don't think, you know, if, 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 man, like, it just really seems like you want me to be for this. I don't understand the line of questioning. I just don't. <sighs> So, is that the goal? That I'm supposed to be more relaxed about consenting adults committing incest? I'm supposed to be like, well, I guess if you aren't involving children, it's none of my fucking business? Because that's where you brought me. <laughs> like, um, I still don't like the kids thing. I don't, I, you know, if, if we want to get into an argument of whether or not that's eugenics, I guess we can. I don't think that that's eugenics. I think it's fucking common sense. Um, you know, I think telling people that they like have to get screenings and shit and like, you know, that. Jesus Christ. This is, this is where we've arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and then we've got, um, the other troll who um some of the comments were just kind of silly and funny and some of them are just fucking weird another repeater um uh what the hell is this guy's oh this is paul ramos right the paul no run uh, you can't fucking read um why don't you go f your sister in various forms um four different times um i this was in response to the the comments uh that we just discussed so i don't know if he was asking me that or the dude who made the comment i don't have a sister 
would be like the immediate answer. Also, I don't, again, this doesn't strike me as a good idea, so I'm pretty sure that even if I had one, I probably wouldn't. But again, again, if I had been an identical twin, who the fuck knows? Um, I don't know. Um, identical twins? That's gross, right? Maybe not. I don't know. I've seen some weird stories about some identical twins who, like, get married to the same guy, and, like, it's a whole... So, like, I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know. You you know, I can't make the power imbalance argument there. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna cut this. I was gonna get into more um, troll call shit, but... This is already at a half an hour, and um, I'm. I need to think about something else before I address anything else. This hurts my head so fucking much. <laughs> Did this have the desired effect? I think you just made me more degenerate. <laughs> Because, like, all of the, you know, the, all of the psychological shit was the, the same shit that's like, hey, you shouldn't fuck your students, shouldn't fuck your patients, shouldn't fuck your clients. Like, you know, there's a, a, a massive power imbalance there that's, like, a problem. Um, but, like, the, you know, the sort of libertarian people who want to talk about, like, advocating for this sort of thing don't care about any of those things and think you should just, everyone should be able to have a free-for-all regardless of their position in society. So, like, okay, like, pick one. I don't know, like, you know, like, I, there are not laws against it, and I am not rallying to create them. Like, that's where we're at with this. I'm not going to people's pages and yelling at them because I think that incest is a bad idea. And I do. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what you expected me to say here. Like, you know, I, I still think that the vast majority of actual incest that actually happens in the actual world is not the sibling shit, is not this hypothetical shit. Because, like, if you look, there's not, like... The, like, does it happen sometimes? Yeah, I'm sure. But the vast majority of actual incest that happens in the world is parent to child. Or older sibling to younger, you know. They're, like, but the, like, it's, it's, most of this is not consensual. It's why there's a problem. Most of being gay is fucking consensual. I'm not for forced homosexuality either only the consenting adult variety yeah i don't know man was this the, the response you expected congratulations i'm even more degenerate <laughs> christ on a cracker just to be clear, I do not endorse incest. I will not be giving advice on how to pick up your sister. Um, this is not... Nope. I think it's a bad, bad, bad idea, and I'm not talking about it anymore. So, we're done with this now. If you'd like to address the adultery, if you'd like to address my gender at all, we can continue. But I'm not kidding. I do not care what you say. I'm not at all addressing incest as a topic again i may or may not just delete comments regarding i'm not sure yet but i'm setting a boundary here okay we're done with this now we are done if you like it or not we are done with this you might need to still go have a conversation about this but i'm good i've thought about this too fucking much. <laughs> if you made it through this, please like and subscribe. God, there's better shit than this, I swear. Um, everyone that isn't making me think these things, I love you. Be safe. Make good choices. Good choices.